What's up guys? You're watching the Sean the Cliff channel. Today we're going to be opening all my favorite cards from the 2023 P case. I got the US cards. So let's just get straight to it. There's so many cool models in this mix, including that P case, Super Treasure Hunt, Dats, Datsun 510, Bluebird that everyone's been chasing, which is just such a cool Super Treasure Hunt for this year. That pink is just awesome. All right, let's get straight to it. First up, we got the treasure hunt for this case. We got the 2020 Ram 1500 Rebel. And this is such a cool Dodge lifted truck. It says Coast Patrol right there on the side. Let's get this thing out of the package. The low production symbol is right there on that back of the bed. You can see it right there next to that search and rescue. It has a bronze wheels with a black base, a lightly smoked window tint with the red interior. It's got the yellow and red theme going on, kind of like the McDonald's look. It's got the front headlights and it's got the front grill and it says Ram right there. And it's also got the taillights. So they did great details with this uh, Ram 1500. I know all the Dodge guys are going to be chasing this truck. It's got a huge sunroof too. It looks like it's for the front of the truck and also the rear seats as well. All right, that's the Coast Patrol. Really cool treasure hunt for this case. Let's go ahead and park it up and let's move on to the regular of the super the Datsun Bluebird Wagon 510. Now I've actually got really lucky with this car. I found two of these. I was hunting them down like crazy. Here is the super treasure hunt. It says TH right there and just check that out. So cool to see a different color from the regular to the super. Now we got a purple regular and then a pink super. So it's pretty much a dead giveaway once you find it. And even just I got to say the regular just looks that good. Looks amazing. I don't know. Some people are saying the purple looks better than the pink. I think the pink looks better because I love that pink Spectre Flame paint. But here we go. We got it out of the package. Really cool wheels. It's got white wheels like we saw on the Afro Romero earlier this year. It's got a lightly smoked blue window tint with white interior. Both passenger driver's side windows are down. And then halfway through the back windows, they're also down as well. It says 510 on that front hood, and it's got a heart on the roof. And this purple paint is crazy in person. If you move it around, it looks like it's got a blue tint to it. All right, that's the Datsun 510 Bluebird Wagon. Let's go ahead and park it up. Such a cool car, probably my favorite car in this P-Mix. All right, 92 Dodge Viper RT 10, so cool. Um, now last year we did see, what did we saw? Where was it? We saw the yellow one. This is actually a different casting. It's a little bit different. Um, if you look here on the hood, it's got the same piece. Or, sorry, different piece for those uh, hood scoop things there. And uh, this one's got uh, headlights on it. Previous one didn't. And also, if you flip it around to the back, it came with a plate and the rear taillight. They got the details in there. Um, so they did a great job. They definitely did a better job with the new one. So now we got this brand new one. And it's got a black interior. It's got the same style wheels that we saw on the previous Dodge. Those three spoke wheels. It's got the Dodge emblem right there on the front bumper. And it says Viper RT on that rear plate. And my favorite color is red. So I definitely like this Viper RT 10. Super cool car. All right, black base. Let's go ahead and park it up. Now, last year, we did see another recolor of it as well. We saw a purple one as well, which I have right here. Um, so we didn't just see it in yellow. We saw it in purple as well. All right, moving on. Let's move on to what do we got next year? We got the 82 Cadillac Seville, and we got it in blue with this light blue two-tone on the side here. So nice. And we also saw it in brown earlier this year. This was the first recolor that we saw it, and it's just spectacular. Love it. Um, definitely a cool car. It's got the taillights on there. And now we've also seen it as a red edition. It says red right there on that back fender. So cool in red and white. I love it, love it. All right, now we got this really cool blue one. Go ahead and get it out of the package. Nice little 80s Cadillac Seville. So cool, look at that, just spectacular. And it's rocking a reddish brownish interior. And wow, I just realized this is actually an error car. I shouldn't have opened this one up. If you look at the windows, they're halfway down. They're not all the way up. Um, same with the sunroof. So that's crazy. Didn't even notice that before I opened it, but it's got chrome wheels. It's got the taillights. It doesn't have the headlights. It's got the Cadillac uh, emblem and it says Seville right there on that rear trunk. 
It's rocking a chrome base. All right, that's the Cadillac Seville. Let's go ahead and park it up. What an error, what an error. Can't believe I didn't see that before I opened it. Oh well, I've opened actually a couple errors in videos that I didn't notice. All right, up next we got the GMC Hummer EV in green. Now we've already seen this. I think we saw yellow first. We got yellow, pretty cool. We've got orange, really cool. Some would say that's kind of like a brownish color. And then we got white. Nice the white, I like the white. I actually saw a white one in person the other day and these things look sweet in person. Then we get the Barbie movie. We've seen this one in the Barbie movie. And now we got one, two, three, four, five. We got a fifth recolor. So we're getting a lot of these GMC Hummer EVs. I'm glad to have, I think all the recolors. If there's something I'm missing, please let me know. Oh wow, look, it's got a skateboard in the rear there. Now I don't know, the other ones have it? Yep, this one's got it. This one doesn't because it's the Barbie one that a closed up bed right there. It's got a little bit different of a bed there. The Barbie one's a little bit different, but now we got it in this awesome green and it's sporting gray wheels with a light gray base. It's got the headlights, it's got the taillights. It says Hummer right there on that rear trunk and also along the front grille. It's got a lightly smoked window tint and it's rocking gray interior. And these things are full electric. They can do pretty cool stuff. So if you haven't seen anything about the Hummer EV, I suggest you look it up because they can do pretty cool things. All right, that's the GMC Hummer EV. Let's go ahead and park it up next to the other. Now we got a nice looking fleet, total of five of them. That's so many. All right, moving on. We got the Tesla Roadster. This is pretty cool because we got the then and now for this right there on the side. It said then and now. Now, the then. We have the uh, original Roadster, which went to space. Uh, that's pretty cool. All right, now we have then and now. We got the uh, new Tesla Roadster. I've never seen one of these in person. If you have, let me know. I don't even know if they hit production but we have so many Teslas in my area and I'm curious why I've never seen one of these Roadsters. Maybe they didn't hit production. So let me know if you know more about the Roadster in the comments. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. They did great details on this casting. It's got the headlights, it's got the Tesla emblem right there on that front hood. It's got the Tesla on that rear bumper and it also says Roadster on the plate and it's got the taillights, a lightly, lightly smoked window tint with black interior and it's rocking a gray base. And I have to say the black wheels look great with that orange. I think white would have looked better with the orange, but black looks really good too. It looks really nice and smooth. All right. Moving on, we got the 69 Dodge Charger 500, and this is part of the then and now as well. Now, where is, here it is. There is the then, or sorry, now, and then we got the then. So, same details there, pretty cool. So, that's awesome to see. Now, we've seen this casting before. I got the yellow version of it, kind of like the Bumblebee style. It's got the moon eyes right there on the side. So, not the first time that we've seen this casting. It's got the same details there. Just different color, so let's get this thing cracked open. Mine's a little beat up, but here we go. We got the purple out of the box. The purple looks amazing. It's kind of got like a purple, flaky, sparkly paint. It says Hemi right there on that front hood, rocking those awesome two white stripes along the car. And on the side of it, it's got kind of like a brown, black, whitish, two-tone, three-tone look, whatever you want to call that on the side of it. Sitting on five-spoke bronze-colored wheels, and they're staggered as well. I mean, why wouldn't you put staggered wheels on a bad muscle car? They look sweet. Moving on, we got the Plymouth GTX, the 1971 Plymouth GTX, which is pretty cool. Now, we've seen this in orange, which was nice. Salt and orange. Same, nope, different details. I think this one from 2022, if I remember right. I don't know, I can't remember. But anyways, we saw it as a premium as well. This was in Fast and Furious pretty recently. And that one's got the same details. It's got the same stripes there on the side. Not on the side of the car, but on the hood. Now we got this recolor here in blue with the chrome wheels and a chrome interior. And it's got a black front hood scoop. It says 440 right there on that front hood. 440 cubic inch motor. It's got the Plymouth on the rear trunk and it doesn't have headlights and it doesn't have taillights and it says GTX right there on the side of the car. It's got nice staggered five spoke chrome wheels and it's got a black base. Both passenger and driver side windows are down and that is the Plymouth GTX. Let's go ahead and park it up next to that fabulous looking orange one. 
Now we got kind of the fleet going on there. Moving on to the 80s El Camino. Now we've seen this several times this year. That's right, we've seen it in blue, which was nice to see in blue. Get it to focus there, hello. But yeah, we've seen it in blue, which is really nice. And then we also saw it as a Dollar General exclusive in yellow, which that yellow just looks really cool. I know a lot of people were chasing that down. I was too. Um, they had a deal too for the mail-in, which was like, what was it? Buy one, get one free. So that was spectacular. Um, now we got it in green. So a lot of 80s cars here. Love the 80s. Favorite era. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Look at that. Chrome wheels along that green paint job. Looks great. Especially with that two-tone with that gray on that bottom of the paint job there. It looks awesome. It's got the pinstripe going down the front hood. And also on the side of the car, it's rocking a black interior with a lightly smoked window tint. And it's got a nice big hood scoop with no headlight or taillight details. But, I mean, that's okay because it looks like a drag El Camino. It looks like it's ready to hit the drag strip. All right, that's the 80s El Camino. Let's go ahead and park it up. Let's move on to... What do we got here? We got the 84 Audi Sports Quattro in white. This is a nice recolor. We've seen it in black before, so this is gonna look so cool next to each other. And uh, we've got different color wheels this time. We had Aerodisc wheels last time. Now we got this chrome trim black wheels. So let's get this thing out of the package. And guess what? This is another 80s car. We are opening a lot of 80s cars for this P case. It's got the headlights. It's got the Audi emblem right there on the front grille. It's got a lightly smoked window tint with black interior. The only thing this casting really is missing is those taillights and maybe a license plate in the rear. But other than that, this Quattro is just awesome. Absolutely love it. I love the rally cars. So this is definitely up my rally. And it's got the number 84 and the Castro. It's got sponsorships all over the car. This Quattro is definitely a race car. All right, let's go ahead and park it up. Such a cool 80s little car, right next to the black one. So cool, which one's your favorite, black or white? I don't know which one I'd choose, maybe the black. All right, moving on to the Dodge Charger Drift. Kind of like a police car there, but actually, track pursuit, maybe it's the pace car. Or maybe it's just a police race car. But, all right, we've already seen it. Where is it at? There it is. We've seen it in green, pretty cool. Nice little recolor there. And then we saw it as a red edition. It says red right there on the back side of the car there pretty cool to see it in a couple of different recolors um definitely for the dodge guys there i know it's kind of like a fantasy goofy looking model but it's pretty cool definitely got to grab them all right there you have it out of the package it's got red trim on those black wheels it doesn't have headlights and it doesn't have taillights but it does have a lightly smoked blue window tint with black interior and the blue wrap on the front of the hood where it says Pursuit kind of looks like Spectre Flame paint. It's like really shiny. It looks great. Totally unexpected for this car. And it's rocking a black base. And it's got the number 55 all over the car and also on the roof as well. And that is the recolor in white of the Dot Charger Drift. All right. Let's go ahead and park it up. We don't have any room for it over there. We'll just park it over here. All right. Moving on. We got the Mitsubishi. Pajero Evolution. We've seen this as a red color. Where is it? There it is. With the Aerodisc wheels as well. Uh, same wheels. Now we got it in gray Aerodisc wheels. Looks really cool. Same graphics. I believe the red one was earlier this year. It says new for 2023, so it has to be. We didn't get it last year. But this little car is really cool. Definitely something I didn't expect Hot Wheels to make, but hey, I'm glad they do. I love when they make unique cars. It makes you learn so much about different types of cars and different names for cars. There's so much to learn with Hot Wheels, especially when you're a kid and you don't know much about cars. It's got the headlights, it's got the front grille, doesn't have taillights, but other than that, this thing looks sweet. All right, that's the Mitsubishi. Let's go ahead and park it up next to the red one. Looking cool, which one's your favorite? White or red? Ah, I gotta give it to the white. The white looks that cool. All right, moving on, we got the Honda Super Cub Custom. Such a cool car, new for 2023. Now we've actually seen this already. We've seen this as red. Let me get it here if I can get it out. We've seen the red one here, pretty cool. Looks kind of like a red edition, doesn't it? And now we got this awesome blue. In small letters, it says Honda right below that seat and it also says Honda along that back storage container. The front steering doesn't turn. It's rocking black wheels and it's got a gray trim on it. And 
overall, I gotta say this little Super Cub is awesome. It comes with a nice kickstand so you can kick it up and uh, not have to worry about it falling over. So that's pretty cool. All right, that's the Honda Super Cub Custom. Let's go ahead and park it up next to that red one. Looking so cool. All right, let's move on to, we got a new for 2023. We got the 1957 Jeep FC. Super cool, cab over engine style. Um, got some stuff in the back there, some accessories. Let's get this thing out. I don't have anything to compare it to because it is brand new. It says Jeep Elephant four wheel drive right there along the side door. It's got a clear window tint with black interior. It's got nice lights along the front of the cab there. And it also has chrome wheels, black base. It's got some accessories in the back of the bed there. It doesn't have headlights. Actually, it does have headlights and it doesn't have taillights. It's got a spare wheel and looks like, I don't know, the motor in the back there. All right, let's go ahead and park this new casting for 2023. Let's go ahead and move on to the last couple cards we got part of this mix. We got the Jeep Scrambler. How cool is that? Check out that artwork. So cool. I love when they uh, make these off-road Jeeps. I think they're just awesome. Off-roading, it's just that cool. Rocking a three-tone look here. It's got orange, red, and gray. It's got a nice big bumper in the front and also in the rear. It doesn't have headlights and it doesn't have taillights and it says Jeep along that rear tailgate. It's got some little tools like a pickaxe and looks like some wood in the bed of the Jeep. It says Baja Blazers 83 along the side doors and it's got a clear window tint with both passenger driver's side windows down. And that is the Jeep Scrambler. Such a cool little off-road Jeep. Awesome to have. All right. Let's go ahead and park it up there in the back. Let's go ahead and move on. We got the tuned twin mill, which we've seen this before. We've seen it in green. We got that earlier this year. It was a couple cases ago. Um, I think the blue, or sorry, the green looks that much better. But now we got it in the recolor there. The tuned cars are a little silly, but I think they're cool. So I definitely wanted to pick them up and collect them. I'm curious to know if you guys are collecting these tuned vehicles because... I love to hear what you guys have to say, and I'm curious if you guys are picking them all up, considering they have the Supra and they have the Dodge Charger from Fast and Furious, and I know a lot of people are picking those up, so I'm curious to see if you guys are picking up these other tuned, like, twin mill. Later this year, in the Q case, we're going to have the 935 tuned in black, and I think that's going to be a hot car. All right, that's the tuned twin mill. Let's go ahead and park it up. Now we got one last car, part of this 2023 P case with my favorite uh, cars for this mix. All right, Lane Lowrider. We've seen this last year. We've seen it in a light blue color. And now we got this awesome green with a purple window tint. This is kind of like a lowrider. It's got like a, it's, it's kind of like doing hydraulics right now. It's got the front end high up, kind of doing like the Carolina squat. It's got gold wheels, chrome base, doesn't have headlights and it doesn't have taillights. And it's rocking a Cool design all over it. It's got, you know, eyes on the side of it. I don't know, maybe the eyes of a tiger. Definitely looks like a Halloween car. It's got spider webs in the back. Definitely looks kind of spooky. And it's not an Impala. This is actually a fantasy model. Also, too, I want to mention, look, my motor is moving around. Is that an error? Is that supposed to be loose like that? If you guys have the lay-in lowrider, let me know if you guys can move the motor around like that. I'm curious if that's just an error. I can't believe I opened up an error today. That... Look at that. The windshield is halfway down there. Get it to focus there. But yeah, you can see it. it's halfway down there. It's not coming all the way up. It's a light error. I mean, not too crazy. It's just whatever, but pretty cool. You know, I love errors. I, I like finding stuff wrong with the cars. I think they're just so exciting when you find them. I don't ever go out of my way to purchase them because they can be easily made. All right. I want to know which one's your favorite car. Obviously that 510 is going to be my favorite. Love the super treasure hunt. This thing looks spectacular in person. I found two of them. I was lucky enough, and I'm going to open up one later this year when I get all the Super Treasure Hunts for 2023. Now, the only one I need left is the Q case, the last case for this year. So if, I, if you get that and you want to sell it to me, let me know. All right. Don't forget to like and subscribe.